Okay, this video is all about making the um, hex file for the ROM on a Zeta 2. So um, there is a um, uh, file that you need to download. Um, search the internet for ROM WBW. Um, that's the guy's initials, I forget who wrote it. But um, it's basically um, CPM in ROM form. And it has uh, uh, support for various uh, retro computing uh, platforms. It came out of the retro computing group. And um, so search the internet for ROM WBW. You'll find a GitHub um, uh, file uh, site and you can download it from there. Anyway, you'll get a, um, a, a compressed file and uh, all you need to do is um, uh, uncompress the uh, ROM WBW master and put it someplace that you can conveniently get to it. Um, so I did that and um, it is, uh, where is it on my, it's on my front page here. Um, I know it's staring me right in the face and I can't find it now. Uh, here it is. Okay. So um, I uh, renamed mine just ROM WBW because I didn't want to type in the dash master all the time. So anyway, so it's the same thing. Um, and you'll see uh, some directories here. Um, we can take a look at the readme. Uh, it talks about... Um, uh, oh, here's the guy's name, Wayne uh, Worthen. And um, so he basically takes CPM 2.2 and makes it a ROM version, makes it a bootable version, adds all of the memory mapping and stuff for the various platforms and stuff. And it, and it, it operates on three or four, four different platforms. Um, the uh, RC2014 uh, uh, and the N8, oh, I'm going to get it wrong, NV or something like that, um, and the Zeta. Um, so it does Zeta and it does Zeta 2 and it does some other things as well. So anyway, it has everything you need. All right. So thing to, the thing that's important here is that you uncompress the um, file and put it in the directory you can get to. And um, under binary, I'm not sorry, I'm sorry, not under binary, under source, you go under source and there are builds. Uh, so this is going to actually compile uh, all of this source code and create the hex file for the ROM. And it's going to do that with a single command, which is the build CMD file. Okay. So um, unfortunately, you may run into several problems running the build file. Uh, the first one I got was a textify error. And other people have gotten this textify error also. So we're going to have to fix that. Um, and I'll show you how to fix that. Um, the other problem that I had was this thing actually launches a PowerShell. Um, and my computer didn't have PowerShell uh, linked in correctly. My laptop, it worked just fine. I can just run it and it worked just fine. But this particular, um, it's, a, it's a workstation, a Windows workstation. I had to add uh, one command um, and I will... Uh, I had to execute one command ahead of time. And let me show you that uh, that command. Uh, now I have to figure out where I put it. Uh, okay, so I think it's over here. Uh, yes. Um, so um, when I tried to run the build file, it gave me a PowerShell error. It couldn't find PowerShell. It wasn't part of the path. And so I hope you can read this. Um, let's see if I can make this bigger. There we go. Let me make it bigger. Um, so this is what you need to put in if you're having that problem. And I did. You just need to execute this once and then it always works, it seems. So um, I think maybe if you have a reboot or something, it forgets it. But anyway, um, set path and then it, it, it appends the path that you have with uh, the path to the PowerShell um, program. So um, that's what I had to do in order to make this work. Okay, so that's one thing. The other thing uh, was uh, 
if you execute build, you will get this Textify error. I have no idea what Textify is, but I do know how to get rid of it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to need a WordPad. Uh, so let's uh, WordPad. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna run WordPad, and we are going to open. Uh, let's see, it's on the desktop. Uh, ROM source. Okay, we're gonna open that. Uh, uh, all documents. We're going to open the build. Okay, so here's the build. It, 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 it's a master for the other build. So it's going to execute all of these builds. Uh, build doc, build hardware, build images, build share, build BP, I don't know what that is, and then build ROM. And then the build ROM is the one that actually creates the hex file. OK, so what you want to do is you want to get rid of this line here, right here, this build doc line. It builds the documents, but it calls this weird thing, and it gives you this textify error and everything. So let's just poof let's get rid of that one and then let's save this as uh save as uh build two dot cmd okay so now we've got this new build to cmd save that uh did that put that in the right place I'm, i think it did uh save as yes let's put it in the same same file um okay so we can close this, and we can go to our uh, ROM and source. And yes, now we have build2. So if we look at uh, build2, it will be that with that one line missing. All right. Now we need to do everything now from the command prompt. So we need to get to the command prompt, type CMD, and that will get you. I know it's going to be really hard for you guys to see this. Uh, it's going to get you here to the command prompt. Let's see if I can increase the text size anyway. I cannot. I don't know how to do this. I'm so sorry. Um, so I'm hoping you can follow this. Um, so uh, I'm going to uh, get to the uh, desktop. So I'm doing a CD desktop. I'll try to tell you what I'm doing here. And I'm going to do cd uh, rom d w b w. You might have to put dash master. Um, now we're here. Uh, now I can do cd source. Okay, directory. So now I'm looking at the source directory, and it has my build two dot cmd. Okay. Now I just type build two. And it goes off and starts running. So it's building um, stuff for the uh, prop IO card. Um, it's doing floppy images. Uh, now it says PowerShell is not recognized. Ah, OK. So this is where I got into trouble. And But I told you that we have a fix for that. So let's go to uh, my path help. I'm going to copy this set command. Copy. And we will go back here and paste. So I'm going to set the path. I just executed that. Now I'm going to say build to. And there we go. So you're going to uh, the uh, PowerShell uh, asks you some questions once in a while, and it'll come up and it'll say, do not run or run once. Um, always say run once. And anytime it asks this question, always type R. Run once, enter. OK, so now it's doing some more stuff. Now it's going to ask me again, R, return. I always, always tell it to run once. I think it's kind of a safety thing. OK, it's generating some stuff. It's quite a lengthy build. Dingy sounds. Um, OK. It's doing some assembler. All 
right? Uh, run once. Now, here we are, we're doing the ROM. So now it's asking me a specific question. It's asking me what platform do I have? Platform choices are SBC, uh, which is the RC2014, um, Zeta, Zeta 2, N8, um, Mark 4, and Una, I don't know what that is. Um, so we're going to say Zeta 2, Z E T A number 2. And then it's going to ask us for the configuration, and we're going to say standard STD. And that'll be the last step that we have to do. So now it says it's created a ROM disk file. Okay, so now we can close this, close this, close this. We can go to our ROM uh, WBW. Um, remember, we were doing everything in the source directory. We now want to go look at the binary directory. The binary directory now has some files in it that weren't there before. Um, Zeta2, 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 standard.rom. So this is the file that you will use in the EEPROM programmer. I'll have another video on um, uh, creating uh, the ROM and then putting it into the Zeta2. Um, but this is how you generate the ROM image. Um, all right, hope that helps.